the CEO round table, ladies and gentlemen, today. 10 minutes, the best 10 minutes of my life. I'm about to kill it. All the way from Nigeria to the tiny, please welcome Kevin Tam. Most of the chorus I had in my relationship was because of my tone of voice. They say Nigerians are aggressive and emphatic. Yes, I mean, when you sleep from night till morning with the sound of generator, you wake up, there's Lagos traffic, the sound of people honking, everybody is crazy, you have to be loud. You know? And today, I know you people are CEOs right here. Me, I'm a street EO. <laughs> Put your hands together for me, thank you very much. Just so that some of you will not think that I did not go to school, I have a Bachelor of Arts in English. <laughs> and I realized that in Nigeria, we are 200 and over 250 million. So I know very well that some places you don't eat, your brains cannot help you. Your wits cannot help you. It is the look on your face. That's why you, they call it divine favor. Because you don't merit it. Because you can't have a face that in a room, if someone farts, they'll think it's you. How can your face be like this? If anything happens, they say he's the one. He's a suspect. He's a suspect. So growing up in Nigeria taught me how to be confident. Let me give you rules of success, CEOs. This is entertainment. This is this is this is wisdom coming from uh, a humor therapist. I'm not a comedian, guys. I'm a humor therapist. You have to add prestige. So when someone asks me, what did you study in school? I said, petrochemical linguistics. <laughs> just, to, just to feel like my uh -huh. So let me teach you. The first thing is spontaneity as a CEO. CEO. Because some decisions, you have to make it real quick, right? right. So let me, let me give you an example. I'm, and I'm going to use myself as a case study. I'll be my own lab rat today because I don't want to offend anybody. I need to get this job next year. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, try to be spontaneous. I would like to inform you that I was privileged to have won Big Brother Africa in 2009. Clap for me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's enough. The money is finished. The money is finished. The money is finished. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you an information. When I went for the auditions in South Africa, ladies and gentlemen, and I stepped into the room, there were CEOs and great guys, white people, all staring at me. I was tensed. But I, I knew that spontaneity would have to bail me out. From nowhere, a question I did not expect. A white dude saw my name. I'm from Nigeria, but I have a very old Nigerian name. My name is Kevin Chuang Pam. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm from a small part of Nigeria, even Nigerians don't know. So the guy saw my name, Chuang. And he's like, wow, sounds Chinese. Are you from Nigeria? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the meaning of your name? Ladies and gentlemen, I've never asked the meaning of that name because I don't like the name. <laughs> but as a smart guy, I can't say I don't know the meaning of my name at an audition that will determine if I'll make it to the house. So as a smart guy, I spontaneously created a meaning in my head in two seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, tell me if I'm smart. When you said, what is the meaning of your name? I said, Chuang is a tree in front of the king's palace that gives inspiration to warriors before going for war. <laughs> Thank you. Spontaneity, ladies and gentlemen, you have to be fast and smart in giving your answers. The next one is confronting your confrontation. Tanzanians are not like that. You guys are calm. You don't confront your confrontation. Nigerians were attacked because delay, we say, is dangerous. So, ladies and gentlemen, I went to the airport this day. I was transported my Lassa Abso. Lassa Abso is a small breed of dog that is so hairy. Four months old. I paid for a puppy. Took it from Lagos to Abuja. When I came back to take my Rockweiler, which is a bigger breed of dog, I got to the airport, trust Nigeria. Oh God, this your dog is big -o. I said, it is a puppy. Say, oh God, this dog can bite me. I said, it is small, it's just four months old. Oh God, you pay for a big dog, you pay for a big dog. And you know, they wanted to squeeze my arm to pay for a big dog. And I had to think real quick and confront them. I said, okay, wait, let me give you an example. You are telling me to pay for a big dog when this is a puppy. When those two short guys that act Nigerian movies, Aki and Popo, when they come to the airport, do they pay for adults or small children? You guys don't say, just go, just go, just go. Confronting your confrontation.
Commission, ladies and gentlemen, that is how to survive. <laughs> Lastly, confidence. And before you get confidence, you definitely have to look good, dress good. Ladies and gentlemen, I was told that when I was a child, for the Tanzanian speakers, you know what Sharubaro is? Yeah. I am the epitome of Sharubarism. <laughs> I was told that when I was a kid, that I used to walk with my hands in my pocket. That even when I fall, I don't, I don't take it out of my pocket. I remain on the floor till they pick me up and I continue bouncing. I don't know what the kids of these days do. They don't even bounce like we used to bounce in our generation. Those days, you know, you have to have that swear. You know? So I realized that that is a very, very essential part of getting net, net, your networks. Because they say a person's network is his net worth, right? So there was this day, true story. I was sitting at the, at the, at the waiting lounge at the airport. The rest of them here. And I saw Modond walking in with his entourage. And I'm sitting down there. I have confidence, swag. I'm ready to confront my confrontation. And there's Modond coming in, in person. I'm like, that's the famous Modond. And he was just a little bit apart from me. And then he looks at me and we lock eye. I see him see me. He sees me see him. And the confidence in me did not let me take my eyes off. I was looking straight at him. But then you have to, then the next step, capture the opportunity. I stood up and I walked up to him. I said, hello, Mr. Mo. How are you? He said, fine. I said, my name is Kevin Palm. I'm the first Nigerian winner because you have to tell him who you are. So he knows that you're also a millionaire. I said, I said, my name is Kevin Pound. I won Big Brother Africa in 2009. You don't miss the words. I'm proud of you. I see what you're doing. You're doing really, really well. I'm proud of you. Keep it all. I said, yes, yes, yes. And I walked out and took a Buddha Buddha back home. <laughs> it's what they call packaging, ladies and gentlemen. You have to package. Tanzania and Nigeria. Tanzanians are calm. I've lived here for a while. You guys don't fight, Osha. Your traffic, no noise. Hey. You guys are quiet. You never know. When Tanzanians are talking, you think you think you think they're you think they're just having a conversation, but they'll tell you they're fighting. No, 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 no. Mr. Taki. We're fighting. Nigeria, even when we're laughing, it sounds as if we're fighting. And then I, I got to realize it from your national anthem. Mm -hmm. With all due respect to the Tanzania national anthem, listen to it. <laughs> Help me out. Everywhere. To prove to you that Nigeria is everywhere, anything that the West has done. 
but we have done it. They have an artist called Savage Garden. We have two Savage. <laughs> yes, they have a phone called Techno. We have an artist called Techno. <laughs> they say they have whiskey, Khalifa. We have whiskey. <laughs> they have ice cube. We have ice prince. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if they say that there's, there's a guy called David Guetta, we have David Do. <laughs> there's a guy called Soldier Boy. We have Bonner Boy. <laughs> Anything they have, they, there's a comedian they call. Kevin Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is. Thank you very much. One more time, please.